The Uni SOC processors are taking over Android smartphones entry level and mid range segment. Thanks to UmiDigi for making them so popular. Today we're going to test out the Uni SOC T610 versus the Uni SOC T310. If you're ready, let's get started. Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depot. So we're going to run three tests for this set of processors. Um, benchmark, we're going to run app opening and throttling. So let's start with the benchmark. On the left, we have the Umi Digi Power 7S, which is running the Uni SoC T310. It's a quad core uh, processor. And on the right, we have the Umi Digi 813 Pro, which is running the octa core uh, processor uh, configuration of Uni SoC T610. Now, as you can see, <laughs> they are actually battling it out. But the thing to note is that the quad core has a power core of 2 gigahertz, uh, which is the highest uh, power core and single power core. And then the octa core has a flat 1.8 gigahertz. So that power core is giving an advantage here, you know, during this benchmark test. So let's look at the results. A sub to the channel will be the greatest result for us today. So from the results, you can see that the T310 UI SoC processor had a better score in the single core. And that is, uh, I'm going to explain soon, um, well, in the multi-core, you can compare a quad-core versus uh, an octa-core. As you can see, this is the configuration. But the reason why the 310, T310 was able to beat is because it has a power single core of 2.8. 0 gigahertz so that 2.0 gigahertz is higher than any single core on the t610 which is 1.8 gigahertz of speed now if you look at the single core performance uh, results you will see that the t310 you know defeated t610 in the day in all the tests so that's higher core single power performing core of 2.0 is an advantage for uh, light uh, tax and CPU based tax. I run it twice and the T310 was actually more efficient in the scores as you can see <laughs> than that of the T610. So let's go into app opening to see what is going on in the app opening here. So let's open Jigbench. The same results. And then let's open this one, throttling test course it's almost the same result but i think the t610 uh, <laughs> took it here camera of course the t310 took it so there won't be much differences in app openings you know when you when you you know <laughs> use this too now let's test the throttling test the throttling test is going to be a very 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 important one for us um, we're going to do 10 minutes of throttling, but I'm going to cut it off. Maybe I'll do three minutes. I'll show you five minutes, seven minutes, and probably the 10th minute. Uh, the full review to these videos uh, will be in the description or you can click on the cards right now if you really, really want to check out the UmiDigi Power 7S and the UmiDigi uh, A13 Pro on the right. So after three minutes going to four minutes, uh, you can see that the T610 is beginning to throttle. The throttling got worse after about five minutes. <laughs> it's really, really, really got worse. So the, the smaller T310 is actually more efficient as we saw in terms of the Jigbench uh, results. And in throttling tests, it is also confirming that, that the T310 is a proper, a proper CPU. Of course, the GPU added to it, the Mali GPU added to it is trash. It can't really, really play any high-end game per se, but it is a proper CPU. I wish they could have given it a better GPU. So let's stop the throttling test after 10 minutes and let's check out the full results. So clearly, uh, we have a winner on this one. In terms of uh, overall performance, of course, the octa-core will win. But you can see that no CPU throttling was detected after 10 minutes on this CPU throttling test, while on this other one, you know, it was detected. So special thanks to UmiDG for sending us this device, you know, to, uh, to review and all that stuff. And we'll keep making content with it. Till I see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.